update for you guys, and I got exactly what I was looking for this morning, um, an upward breakout. I'm looking for Bitcoin to take out this trend line right here. Let me zoom in and show you what I'm talking about. And it did that this morning. And this is what I've been looking for, is the next upward projection to go all the way to the mid 60K range and above. So we're gonna look for that. At the very least, we're gonna see it retest the highs is what I was looking for. But this uh, mid 6K range right here, is my primary focus right now. Um, price action, again, very positive, and it looks like whoever is uh, the supply, they're just buying and buying and buying. Um, every down move gets bought, and uh, it seems like the liquidity is drying up more and more. So that's a good sign uh, for Bitcoin. Um, but it remains to be seen. I wanna see what happens above here and if we indeed go right back down to these levels, I'm looking to buy another 10%. I bought 10% last time, if you remember, um, in the mid 40K range, right down here, because that was its previous support point. And I want to add to that. So I'd like to buy it right anywhere within this range right here. We can get a breakdown there. If not, I'm looking for higher prices and I'm just in hold mode when it comes to um, Bitcoin. Other than that, let's go to the one that really matters, but first I want you to see this trend line is what's important, and we did indeed break that. So how we react here um, is gonna be key. Often it can just go straight up, or it could pull back after the break and meander around, and it could dance around here, and then get a, a further movement upward. Um, those are two scenarios that often happen. All right, let's go to XRP. Now, XRP, again, <laughs> there's uh, buy, 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 buy. That's all I, I'm doing. And um, it's uh, I'm looking for the numbers to get above this short term, this 65 area. Uh, I think that is very likely to occur. And we'll see where we go from there. Once we break out of this whole range right here. Um, but, you know, again, this is going to likely be news driven. I mean, there's plenty of room for us to go up and plenty of room for us to go back down uh, until the SEC settles with uh, and the CFTC settles with um, XRP and Ripple. Uh, we're likely going to be caught in this congested zone. Uh, now, if you were a buyer under 40 cents, and you wanted an exit point, that's 65 right there for a short-term trade. Uh, or if you want to take half or something to that degree, was a good trade. Uh, me, you know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for longer term. I like to just hold it like I'm doing with Bitcoin. And I want to get numbers that go all the way back above a dollar and above even $2. So on a return basis, uh, I'm going to get a nice return. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm looking for, at some point, uh, it, I think we're going to get positive surprises, meaning they're going to have good news, like uh, maybe Coinbase relisting um, uh, relisting XRP or different exchanges relisting XRP. I mean, the news that's coming out more and more, it kind of points to that. So technically, short term, we're just looking for there. Nothing has changed. You know my perspective previously and you know my long-term point of view so you know just buy and hold um, I did get a few questions about wing because wing did make a move upwards as you guys seen it went all the way to the 60s and if you're holding it from an area like around the low 30s and so forth again uh, you know I, I, I repeated you know if you have a hundred percent return let's say that you're holding from 33 and it went all the way up to the 66 um, level and so forth you know taking off half for a hundred percent return is not a bad idea uh, you know what my target is on this I'm looking for 80 or you can just hold for that target level I believe that's likely to occur I myself I don't have enough of this to really care to any degree 
Um, so uh, I'm just holding for above 80 because I want the complete return, the ROI from this. So that's what I'm doing personally. And um, it was a great buy from the low mid to low 30s. Um, and that's there's nothing other than that. You know, I know that people want to uh, saturate the, the talking about certain things. And I get your PMs and your messages, but there's no need. Remember, when you go over and trade, uh, you don't have to become a fanboy of anything you trade. <laughs> it's not required. And it's kind of a bad thing for you to do that because if you get married or you become a fan of whatever you're trading, uh, it clouds your judgment and you don't want that. Um, so, you know, this is just another trade. There's nothing to really think about. Uh, target levels above there. That's what I'm looking for. And there you go. I mean, if you want a longer term hold on this, you can expect a, maybe a BNB &B type of move, but it goes all the way up to a 200 range or something crazy like that. Um, like BNB, &B, if you remember, BNB &B had a similar type of pattern. Let's see. Let's go back to it. And BNB &B went all the way up to that 300 zone, if you remember, where I sold it. And before it pulled back to the 200, which was right down here. Let's zoom in there so you can see that. And it went to the mid 300 area, this whole little area right here from the three, you can see the low to uh, 320s all the way up to the 350 area right here. This was a good selling area for back all the way under 200. Great trade. Um, and if you've seen the similarities of this in the chart, you would notice that they're very much alike. So uh, you could get a um, decent sized pullback, but you would need that pullback to be from that, that point, that, um, uh, that uh, 80 plus point, which is way above here. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that, but I'm very much uh, a fan of this one and looking over here this was a pick by Bryce and he did a good job um, I you know there's so many coins out there but this was just a really technically had, has all the elements and so forth and it's proven itself to be pretty good so far um, all right so Tesla you know I keep getting questions about that again I gotta tell you I got nothing to do here it ran up to this number here and then it's pulled back and you know I'm looking at this for the long term I want that target down here into the 380s there you go that's all I and it's a hedge uh, I've got VW to the upside I think VW can keep going higher I did exit half you know I'm well above the 100% return level on this one I've held it for quite a while and um, you know, so I've got no risk on the trade. Uh, when you take half of your trade above 100%, it's a risk-free trade. You lose nothing. Um, you know, then from there you can see where it goes and we'll see it's a great hedge against Tesla. So I've got my Tesla short and my VW hedge long. And uh, it's a fantastic hedge. Um, what else is out there that uh, you know that I'm being asked? Oh, silver, uh, silver again, just meandering. Uh, if it does pull back under the the 20 range here, I'll, I'll be a buyer. If it can get anywhere down under 20, that would be fantastic. This is a longer term play and a longer term hedge because uh, I, I don't care what anyone says. You know, you can't print this much money and not get inflation. Uh, you can provide the liquidity and uh, it, it, it try to drag things out for as long as you want. But, you know, the, the bill comes due at some point. And uh, you can go on a buying spree and have all kinds of credit available to you when you go out to buy stuff in the stores. But, you know, a month later or something, and that might be a year or more later in, in our case with the U.S. economy, um, that bill's going to come due. And people are going to be like, oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, what do I do to pay it? I guess I got to go to work and 
holy crap, I'm going to be working a long time to pay off this bill. <laughs> so nobody's thinking along those lines. But um, So I, I love silver, but this is a long-term hold. And this is a, you know, uh, when you break this level here, you get a double, one, two. Once you break that level here, um, I'm probably going to be raising my targets. I know I've got the mid-30s target, but man... You break these two levels here in the proximity of it, uh, where it's located, I very much would want higher numbers, and I would be looking more closely towards the 50 range. Uh, first, I'd like to accumulate more. That's my goal. If we can get pullbacks on this, I want to move. I've got a lot of cash on the sidelines, and I'd like to move it into silver. Um, that's my my idea. Now, I, I did get another question out there in the main, mainland. This is already traded, um, SNX, uh, you know, but, it, you know, somebody's holding on and they're saying, what, what's the future? This is DeFi and synthetic, and they're going to be really popular. And you're probably very right. Um, they will be popular. So if we can hold this area in here to any degree above this 13 to $14 range, um, that's very key. If you can hold above this range, you can look for another run upwards. And it seems like the whole DeFi space is on fire anyway. So let's mark that as a yellow because it's an unknown. It is a support, but it's not a truly tested support. So if you can hold this area in here to any degree, even if you drop down a little bit, and but you uh, push back up, um, you know, if we could look for a move above here, then you can go over and draw another trend line. Boom, boom, boom. And if you break that trend line back to the upside, you can get, you know, the, there's a lot of excitement in the space. So uh, what what are tops? Tops don't mean much if you get a lot of enthusiasm for the D5 space. And that's currently what's going on. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but that's what I would look for. And the other one, my last one I'm going to talk about is UBXT, uh, Upbots. Uh, now, to me, this company is, uh, uh, well, let's just say they're not hitting their targets or their programming like they should. And it's kind of obvious. Uh, they have a, how they're getting such a valuation and so forth with the tokens they have out there. Um, I could see very quick downside on this all the way back to the three to two cent range in my opinion um, So we'll see we'll see what happens, but I, I like this and again This is such a small token with a uh, you know small volume. I seen the volume explode right here uh, I, I this is not something that I'm really you know This is just something I, I believe technically will pull all the way back and for smaller money It, it kind of is a good trade um, it was a great trade from down here when it was around a penny, and it's a great sell from above the seven cents, uh, the six to seven, all the way up to eight cents, in my opinion. So we'll see um, what happens with it. But I like this as a short, and I could easily see this crush right back down to here. And there's some fundamental reasons why that'll you know, it'll show up in the chart, in my opinion. So that's my opinion on that. Uh, other than that, um, again, I, I've seen the requests for uh, educational material. I think that's a great idea. As soon as I get time, I'm going to have a whole series of videos on the, you know, for the Platinum members. And it's going to talk about each one of the different types of uh, psychological and mindset type of uh, you know, segments, uh, I'm going to create segments that are going to go over each of these and for you to think correctly, uh, where you're not emotionally involved, because a lot of you, your, your enthusiasm is nice, but it's unwarranted and not necessary. Uh, don't focus your attention on things that you want. Focus your attention on things that are there, uh, is one of the things I'll tell you. Because we all want to you know, make big money and lot, giant profits and everything. But in order to do that, you actually have to pay attention to what happens most often. And, and it's, again, it's simple. It's observe, plan, 
and execute. And I repeat that. And try to look at the market without a bias. You know, don't try to you know see it as from one sided, um, unless you have a good fundamental and and uh, statistical, or you know you have a good understanding of what it is you're looking at. Uh, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll come up with a way to get that educational series out there and make it easy for members to um, to use and so forth. Uh, okay, other than that, I hope you guys have a great week. This is it for my weekly report, and I will talk to you guys throughout the week.